Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking about the art of asking and why it's a crucial conversation skill. Are you ready? Let's get started. So what can you do to create a great conversation? Well, it's a great question, but if it's gonna be a conversation, it really does take two to tango. Two to tango, yes I do. Two to tango, two to really get the feeling of romance. So yeah, you could do everything right. And if the other person doesn't want to engage in a conversation, you're not going to have one. But there are things that you can do to improve the chances that you create a conversation, and there are important things that you can do. And, and so what's, what's the single most important thing that you could do to improve the chances that you can create a conversation? Well, it's to ask questions. And, you know, there's an art to asking questions, and it doesn't require that you wear a chapeau or have a palette. That's not the kind of art we're talking about, but there is art. As I've already implied, you can't do this on your own. It does take two people, but there are some things that you can do to, to get better at the art of asking. Let me give you four things that you can do. The first one is you can ask curiously. Well, when we really, when we really wanna know something, we ask, and we are asking curiously. And, Asking someone in a curious way, asking them because you really do want an answer uh, is, is an attractive thing and people are more likely to engage when they know that you really want to know the answer as opposed to you going through the motions. So first thing you can do is ask curiously. The second thing you can do is to ask expectantly. Now, I often say this in, in training trainers or, or, or training people who are leading uh, meetings, is that when you ask, you want to ask assuming that people will have an answer. But even in a conversation, the same is true. You want to ask expectantly. Ask in a way that sets people up to have an answer and ask expecting that they will engage. You improve the chances that you turn the question into a conversation when you ask expectantly. The third thing to do is to ask in a different way. We've all done this. You've asked someone a question and they sort of look at you and they don't really know what you meant. And so one of the things we have to be ready to do is to ask people in a different way, ask the question a slightly different way. So one of the ways to start the conversation is make sure they understand the question. But one of the ways to continue the conversation without feeling, making it feel to the other person like some sort of inquisition is to ask and then ask in a slightly different way and come at it from a third way. It's a great way to start the conversation and it's a great way to continue conversation. And the fourth piece of advice I have for you today is to ask and then shut up. Another mistake that a lot of times we make is we ask and then we keep talking. Or we ask or we have a whole long preamble before we ask. We need to ask our question. We need to shut up because we really are curious and we really are wanting to know and we expect that they have an answer. So we should ask and we should shut up. And while that's true for all of us, especially as a leader, and a parent, it's one of the best things you can do if you want to generate conversation is to ask and then shut up. Uh, asking is an art. Uh, using the ask as a way to create conversation is an art. It's going to take time, it's going to take practice, and there's no perfect way. But those four things that I just shared with you are four things that will improve the chances, that will make you more of an asking artist, and will improve the chances that you'll have better, more effective, and more interesting conversations. That leads us to today's tweet. If you want to master the art of conversation, start with the art of questions. Now asking skills help us in conversation, but asking skills are also a very important coaching skill. So on that note, I hope you'll watch this. We see it everywhere, from movie stars to world-class athletes to high-powered executives. The most successful people in the world in all endeavors have coaches. They understand that without coaching, without feedback, without guidance, without help, they will not achieve their potential. And if you want your team to be successful, and I assume you do, it's your job to provide this coaching. But while coaching is one of our most important responsibilities, it's also the most often overlooked. When you make the effort and coach successfully, 
you can build greater accountability, solve performance problems, help your rock stars achieve new heights, create greater engagement, get better results, and ultimately make your job easier. Because the bottom line is this, coaching is a critically important part of your job as a leader. If your team isn't performing well, you're not doing your job. And that's why I developed the Remarkable Coaching Workshop. Because in my experience, coaching is the missing component for most leadership development plans and programs. In this two-day, interactive, practical, and fun learning experience, you'll learn how to effectively help your team members achieve more and be more successful. You will learn what coaching really is and what you must do in order to be successful, the underlying principles of successful coaching and how to apply them, making coaching work with all of the different personalities and experience levels on your team, an easy to follow practical six step coaching model, coaching versus mentoring, what the controversy is and how you can do both well, and lots more. Plus, you'll have the chance to learn with and from other leaders who are just as intent on improving as you are, building your network of colleagues and peers. If you're ready to supercharge your team's performance and achieve leadership success, click on the button below to learn more and join us for the Remarkable Coaching Workshop.